Manny Pacquiao coming to my crib. Welcome to the Dapper Dog. This is Sports Month and today we're going to take a look at the spending habits of professional boxers. For us, professional boxers have some of the most outrageous spending habits of any athletes. Is Jinky Pacquiao's $83,000 Birkin Himalayan reasonable? Please let us know about your thoughts in the comments section. If you're a fan of boxing, then you are probably aware that they are earning massive amounts on each fight. And as the boxing industry becomes more popular, the fighters' net worths are starting to rise too. That's why today, the Dapper Dog brings you the ridiculous and extravagant spending of professional boxers. Subscribe to the Dapper Dog and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Be ready for round one. Born on September 2, 1965, Lennox Lewis competed from 1989 to 2003. Aside from being a third-time world heavyweight champion, Lewis was also a two-time lineal champion and remains the last heavyweight to hold the undisputed title. Lewis represented Canada as an amateur at the 1988 Summer Olympics, winning a gold medal in the super heavyweight division after defeating Riddick Bow in the final. In the first three years as a professional boxer, he already won several regional heavyweight championships, including the European, British, and Commonwealth titles. And after his first 21 wins, Lewis defeated Donovan Rudock in 1992 to take over the number one position in the WBC rankings and was declared WBC heavyweight champion. Later that year, after Riddick Bow gave up the title to avoid defending it against Lewis. Lewis announced his retirement in the boxing year 2004 with a record of 41 wins, two losses, and one draw. And upon retiring, he moved to Miami Beach with his wife, Violet Chang, a former Miss Jamaica runner-up with their three children. As an avid amateur chess player, Lewis funded an after-school chess program for disadvantaged youths, one of whom earned a university chess scholarship at Tennessee Tech. With the net worth of $140 million, the retired champ was able to secure around $82 Jamaican manse and calls it the Lion's Lair. The luxurious home is located in the Tyrell Golf Club Resort in Hanover and offers stunning views of the Caribbean Sea. Lewis asked his architect from Chicago to help him design the indoor-outdoor themed mansion. The outdoor view has a beautiful patio and swimming pool area overlooks stunning views of the sea. A dining room that can have a 10-theater table is positioned with yet more ceiling-to-floor windows to make the most of this remarkable views. There's also a spacious front room packed with an electric mix of sofas, armchairs, and other furniture. A ceiling-to-floor windows which side way to continue the common theme of outdoors meeting indoors. An industrial-style kitchen that Lewis explains will have food pumping out of it later that day. It also has its gym where all the hard work is done and the house is littered with memories of Lewis's incredible career in the form of photographs. Now, let's move to our next champ, the executioner and later the alien, Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Humphrey Hopkins Jr. is an American former professional boxer who competed from 1988 to 2016. He is considered as one of the most successful boxers of the past three decades, having held multiple world championships in two weight classes, including the undisputed middleweight title from 2004 to 2005 and the lineal light heavyweight title from 2011 to 2012. He also became a world champion by winning the IBF middleweight title in 1995 and going on to compile 19 defenses against 17 opponents, a division record at that time, although some outlets erroneously list 20 defenses to include a no contest against Robert Allen. Hopkins has been married to his wife, Jeanette, since 1993, and the couple has one daughter. Bernard Hopkins was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on January 5, 1965. The former middleweight and light heavyweight world champion Bernard Hopkins is a big fan of classic cars. While he was in the crowd at Friday's Mecham Classic Car Auction in St. Charles III, he took a moment to speak with the folks at Velocity about his other passion. I've been a car guy since a teenager, said Hopkins, who was thrilled to be at the first live car auction. Hopkins admitted that he's a Chevy guy. He picked up at least one vehicle and was on the hunt for more. And for someone who won the light heavyweight title for a short of 50 years old, Hopkins is entitled to enjoy the fruits of his Spartan lifestyle. He also said that he had a 60s Lincoln Continental with suicide doors restored three years ago. But the very first car that he owned was a two-door long front shortback rusted with black vinyl 1971 Monte Carlo muscle car. Aside from that, he also obtained a hometown in one of Philadelphia's waterfront's most exclusive addresses, from the 17th floor penthouse of the condo that affords him a panoramic view of the Delaware River, as well as his hometown skyline. The former middleweight and light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins has often considered how far he has lifted himself in life that might not be tinged in glory that could have been a downturn that would render him as just another grim statistic on a crime blotter. 
Then we have the two-time British professional boxer, unified heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. Joshua held the WA Super, IBF, WBO, and IBO titles since December 2019, and previously between 2016 and June 2019 at the regional level. He held the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles from 2014 to 2016, and as an amateur, Joshua represented England at the 2011 World Championships in the Super Heavyweight Division, winning a silver medal as well as Great Britain at the 2012 Olympics, winning gold. In a year after turning professional, Joshua was named Prospect of the Year by The Ring Magazine, and his victorious fight against Vladimir Kishkov was named Fight of the Year by The Ring and the Boxing Writers Association of America. As of April 2020, Joshua is ranked as the world's second best active heavyweight by The Ring Magazine and Transnational Boxing Ranking Board, and third by BoxRec, and the sixth best active boxer pound by pound by BoxRec. And with a net worth of $60 million, the English champ is often seen living a lavish life, flying with private jets, holidays, wearing expensive watches, and riding expensive Jaguar cars. But all of these gifts from his commercial partners, and he doesn't spend a penny. The boxing star also has a humble two-bed flat in Shellfield and he uses when training which features a master bedroom with a single bed, worn out sofas in the living room, and just one communal bathroom. <laughs> Excuse the smell, but uh, <laughs> that's a communal bathroom. Then the boxer turned politician, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is a Filipino professional boxer and senator of the Philippines. He is nicknamed Pac-Man and is regarded as one of the greatest professional boxers of all time. Pacquiao is the only eighth division world champion in the history of boxing and has won 12 major world titles. He was the first boxer to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes. The first boxer to win major world titles in four of the eight glamour divisions, flightweight, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight, and is the only boxer to hold world championships across four decades, the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020. And as of 2015, Pacquiao's fights had generated 1.2 billion in revenue from his 25 pay-per-view bouts, and according to Forbes, he was the second highest paid athlete in the world in 2015. Manny Pacquiao has an amateur record of 60 and 4, and a record of 62, 7 and 2 as a professional. With 39 wins by knockout, world renowned boxing expert and historian Bert Sugar ranked Pacquiao as the greatest southpaw fighter of all time. And on May 10th, 1999, he married Jinky Jamora and was blessed with five children. As of 2020, they own six luxurious houses, and these are number one, a Beverly Hills mansion. Formerly owned by Sean P. Diddy Combs, the mansion is located in an exclusive gated community called Summit Circle. It features tarventine tiled flooring, five hologram electric heaters, and signature furniture designed by actress Jane Seymour. It is also decked with luxurious amenities such as fully equipped home theater, high-tech saltwater filled swimming pool, and an advanced security system that can be accessed through mobile devices. Number two, Laguana House and Lot. With a net worth of 19 million, Manny Pacquiao sends his five children to an international school Reports revealed that Michael Steven has the same tuition and school fees as does Jamel, bringing in another PHP $815,065 or $1,600 for the two kids. While well, the 13-year-old Mary Devine is in middle school and has a tuition of $8,784. And the fourth child, Queenie, who was born in Los Angeles, has the same tuition fee and school fees as that of Mary Devine. So if we will do the math, that would be about $66,000 in all. The main reason why Pacquiao and his wife decided to buy a house and lot in Laguana so that their two elder boys can easily go to international schools nearby. The mansion has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, two maids rooms, two kitchens, and a four-car garage. Number three, Sarangani Beach House. The Sarangani Beach House is a 14-bedroom beach house that stands on a seaside lot in Tuka Beach, Sarangana province, and you would need to own a boat or a yacht to take an hour-long hike across surrounding hills to go to Pacquiao's beach house. Number four, Los Angeles two-story home. The Los Angeles two-story home and Spanish-type architectural wonder somehow appealed to Pac-Man despite the vintage-looking exteriors, and the home interiors consist of monochromatic furniture with bold accents of colors. Number five, General Santos White House. Pacquiao's well-known White House is the biggest Philippine real estate investment. It is located inside a compound house, his many luxurious cars, a covered court, swimming pool, and play area, among many more. Number six, North Forbes Park Mansion. This Philippine real estate gained notoriety considering that Pacquiao, who was publicly known to be born and lived poor for the majority of his young life, has gained access to one of the most exclusive communities in Metro Manila, where residents are said to belong to the high society. The house and lot in Makiti were bought for $8 million. Aside from his kids, his wife, Jinky Pacquiao, lives in a life sumptuous life too. She owns several limited edition bags and clothing, mainly Gucci, glitter sandals, Hermes Collier de Chien leather cuff, Bauman double-breasted blazer, 
Dulce and Gabbana printed cotton top, Chanel tweed blazer, Chanel suede slingback pumps, Hermes Kelly, Hermes Constance, Gucci pleated white and blue silk dress, and the most expensive bag on her collection, the Hermes Bikini Himalayan Crocodile for $83,000. That's it from us. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like and share with your friends. Subscribe to the Dapper Dog for more amazing videos, and don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. If you were shocked by what these guys are spending money on, make sure to tune in tomorrow when we take a look at the outrageous things Floyd Mayweather Jr. spends money on, plus how Mike Tyson blew his $400 million.